Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So this is a Monster Spotlight video, but it's going to be a little bit special because I usually focus on, you know, I, the spotlight's mainly for other people's monsters. Um, I have a long time ago made a Monster Spotlight for my Water Nightmare. That was quite a while ago. Um, but this Monster Spotlight is also going to be one of my own, one of my own monsters. And I just wanted to share this with you guys because I finally got my Dark Cupid's gems to, like, you know, max out. So he's definitely really, really strong right now. He has 11, um, yeah, 11, wait, no, no, 100 and, 116 k HP. Yes, he has 116 k HP. Um, yeah, and he, I mainly just focused on his, his HP, not really on any of his other stats, although... I don't think attack really matters to him, like he's an aggressor so it doesn't really matter. Um, he does have a little bit of defense and a little bit of recovery which is actually pretty important. So his gems, I have him with these, this Valor set. I know Valor doesn't do anything for aggressors but I just happen to have three pretty good HP Valor gems lying around so I decided to just, um, you know, basically put them all on him. I mainly focused on resist because I think resist is very 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 um, important for active healers. So the most important stat I think um, for any active healer is definitely resist. And as you can see all three of these gems do have pretty high resist. This one has 17, this one has um, 14, and this one has 9, which is pretty good, you know. So you you want to, I think he has, he has, um, I, I probably want to go back to the monster page to, to see this, but I, I, I do like how they um, total the stats. It's just too bad they didn't show the resist and stuff. So he has 70% resist. Um, I don't have any like crit rate with him because I don't really think he he needs it because he you know he's a healer. Um, some of you might not know this, light and dark healers they don't have that extra you know 50% crit damage. Instead they get 10% extra resist which is really really good because this way um, especially for active healers like this is super good. Just the extra 10% definitely helps a lot. Um, Especially in like um, stages like Golems V10 or stages that are not not stages um, like you know PvP arena and stuff where they can land debuffs and stuff. Having really high resist definitely does help you quite a lot. So without further ado, I just want to um, let, let's just let's just get into it. I just want to like show you guys his his damage. Mainly, I want to show you guys like how like you know how much his shield can actually absorb. Um, I think I kind of need to get to the boss part in order to to show this. So um, yeah, yesterday you saw him at like plus 12 gems. So he does like 3,400 a hit. That was three hits of that. So that was like 10k without crit. Um, just just from his aggression. So that's definitely pretty good. Let's see if I can get a crit on him. See see how much damage he does. Oh dang! I didn't bring an armor breaker. I wasn't. I won't be able to show his damage. So that was like five thousand four hundred, um, which is like half her bar. Just you know, from a healer, which is definitely super good. So, um, I I I made the comment yesterday that he's the the best active healer in the game, and I, I still think that's true. Like I, I definitely do think he's the the absolute best active healer in the whole entire game. Um, just because because of how well his um, you know his stat optimization is, you can basically just stack HP on him and he's just solid. Like HP and resist is pretty much all you really need on him. Resist just so um, they don't they don't put any sort of weird random debuffs on you where you can't use your your active skill like the silence debuff or the um, the the one that like. Or, or, or the seal debuff like you can't it's if, if you can't seal him he can still um, put up the shield and the shield bas basically grants you immunity from any sort of other debuffs in the future so that's definitely really really good so what I wanted to do is I actually wanted to um, I, I want my dark Gatito to actually take some damage like from the golems when I when I actually get to him later and um, Let me just uh, let me just see this. This might, this could hurt a lot, or it won't. So I want to very very quickly finish these two off. I want to set up the perfect scenario um, where he can, where where I can like just do 
like let the boss hit my Dark Atito and then we'll see how much damage that actually does. And then with the shield, and then you know, so you can kind of see how much damage you can it can absorb um, from the boss. It's gonna take a little bit of math, but I think we should definitely be okay. So um what I actually want to do is I want to I want to kill this thing on the side. Oh, that was an overkill. So we'll heal my Dark Atito up to full, and I I kind of want my the boss to do like um, one of his AOE skills. So we'll just kill this thing on the side because it's a little bit annoying. Might put silence on me. Um, might mess up the scenario where I can test out his shield. Okay, I didn't actually see how much damage it did. I estimate. I estimate about 3k. Oh wait, is this 3k? No, he has 20 something k base and then plus the gem. Um, yeah, about 3k. 3 or 4k. Um, probably 3k. Yeah, three, about 3k. This is, this is about 3k. Um, you know, I can actually just use that to test out how much um, it can absorb because we'll we'll just let the boss hit my Dark Atito over and over although wait he might not hit my Dark Atito at all shit wait that we won't be able to tell how much damage it, he can absorb all right let's uh let's let's all focus this thing down damn it's pretty damn tanky Alright, alright. Damn, the shield broke. That did about 3k again. That was, that was with the shield. Like, I think the shield blocked the first hit. Um... Fuck okay, it, we'll just, we'll just keep... Keep killing this thing. That was like two hits. That was like 4k or something like that on my... My Dark Atito. Alright, we kill that thing on the side. No more annoying attack down or anything like that. Now we can just, uh... Now we can just run some tests. Oh, that was, that, that was not 3k. That was definitely not 3k, because that, that healed for 5k, so... My math is probably a little bit off. That that might have been, uh... That might have been, like, 5 or 6... That might have been, like, 6k or something like that. From one of the uh, normal hits from the boss. Alright, let's, let's wait for him to do one of his um, AoE skills on my Dark Atito, and then I'll turn the speed up to one times, so we can see um, we can see how much damage it's actually going to do. Like, 800. How many hits was that? That was like 900 a hit. About, I don't know, maybe 10 hits of that? Or maybe 8. Maybe 8 or 9,000. 8 or 9,000 damage. It's gonna be hard though. I need I need him to charge up his bar again, and then th by the next time he charges up his bar, I'll put up my shield. Then we'll see if it, it can absorb that full hit from the boss once he has his SP bar up. I think we definitely shouldn't have any problems with that. All right, let me just turn it up to three times first. Oh shit, I was supposed to put up the shield. Fuck my life. Wait, this way we can see it again. Yeah, that was like 10 hits. That was like 9k. That was definitely 9k. This is about 9k. Before the before this tick. That was about 9k. It's alright, he won't die. I have my Dark July healing him. Alright, two more hits and I'll need to... I'll need to put up my shield. Let's just hope I don't get silenced. Actually, wait, no, he can't silence me. He can only silence me with his his active skill. Boom. 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 No silence, please. No silence. No silence. Yes, that resist definitely helped. 
Alright, this is when I put on my shield. Alright, now, now he's gonna do his thing. See if I can absorb his full shadow beam. Oh wait, he has armor break on him. Damn, fuck that! My calculation's off, but it, it pretty much like, even with the whole whole armor break on him, he, he pretty much practically absorbed like, most of the most of the shadow beam damage. Alright, I think the boss is going down. The good thing is my own monsters, I can I can do more tests and stuff. Um, but I think for a monster spotlight this is this is alright. Like I mean you guys can can pretty much tell that it's a it's a pretty pretty damn good shield. The other thing is like he's he's also really really strong in arena, but my my ranking's a little bit low right now because I I've been um yeah, I've been slacking off. Let's 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 try this full dark comp. Oh, the good thing about him is he also has HP leader, like universal HP leader if I can get him as a variant. So the thing I want the most is like a variant Cupid. That would be insane. Hmm, I think... I think they're probably gonna die before I get my shield up. Wait, what? Oh no, I didn't attack yet. Yeah, he does so much damage, like, he's so tanky, he does so much damage, and he has, like, the best support skill, like, in the game, you know, so... I, I, I really don't know what to say. Heals for quite a lot, too. Alright, that's that's the end of the monster spotlight guys. Um yeah, I, I think in the future if I if I can afford to, I'd, I'll definitely put him on like triple triple gem of life set and just like have him with the most insane amount of HP possible. But I'm still missing a lot of the the life um you know, six star life gens, which is which is what I what I pretty much need the most. You know, it's the only way I can really push his HP up like just one notch higher. Um and also get him as a as a lead like um variant HP lead and then I can use him as his own leader and then to boost his HP even higher. So he's gonna be doing even more damage and have have an even thicker shield. Um Yeah, I'm 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 titling I'm titling this um best active healer in the game, alright? I'm I'm titling this video that, alright. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um Thank you guys for, for watching this video. If you guys want me to spotlight a monster, um, you can leave me a comment or you can email me. I think most people email me. They, um, you know, they send an email, their in-game name and stuff. And I usually just, like, I, I go in, I use, like, the friend list stuff. And then I, I show off your monster to, to everyone that's watching my channel. So if you guys are interested in participating, then um, send me an email. It's in, it's in the description. Or you can leave me a comment, I can do that too. But the thing is, if you leave me a comment, sometimes I might forget. If you send me an email, I, I probably won't. Maybe I've forgotten before, but um, but yeah, it's 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 not that common, alright. So that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.